This video is to show you how you can repair your Bosch Tassimo uh, T55 model. Um, mine's in pieces at the moment because I'm in the middle of repairing it. Um, but I did just think that I would um, take the time just to show you how I got it apart. It wasn't obvious to me uh, at the start. Um, right, so what I had to do, or wanted to do, was to repair or replace this little barcode reader. What happens is, um, and I don't know if it's because uh, this it had been used and this wasn't in place, um, but uh, hot water had, I think, leaked out a couple of times, and maybe it was that that caused this to graze. So the barcode reader no longer worked properly. Um, and in a sort of a short-term fix was to wet the barcode reader, which filled the little grazing in it, uh, and it then. Uh, would work, it would read correctly. Um, but when it wasn't reading correctly, what would happen is the little light here would just come on red. Or was it the, yeah, the red light on the, um, on the, on the cup, uh, rather than it going orange, um, just because the barcode reader hadn't read properly. So, um, <clears throat> what I tried to do was, um, I sanded this down and then coated it with, uh, windscreen repair, uh, liquid. Um, it did work, but only for about a week. Um, so I decided that it wasn't going to work. So what I did is I, I've taken it all apart, taken that out, sanded it down, um, and, uh, polished it using T-cut. And, um, I could have possibly done what I've done today, uh, in situ, but, um, I, I don't think so. Now I'm just looking at it and thinking I didn't quite put it down flat, but I think it's good enough. Um, it's got the little seal around the top. You have to remember to put that back uh, on the top of the little barcode reader when you take it out. Um, and I've just screwed it back together. But um, uh, in order to get that reader out, what you need to do, there's a little tab, two tabs, one there and one there on the, um, on the front. Um, and to get them out, you put uh, something flat like a butter knife between, just lift gently, and you can just sort of pry the, the black plastic um, out and up past it. And then um, <clears throat> on the on the inside, then uh, you can see two screws, one on either side of the image. Um, you can see one in the center now and one in the center now. Those are both uh, Torx head screws, number 10 size. If you don't have a number 10 screwdriver, you can sometimes open them with a, or undo them, do them up with a flat head if it fits perfectly. Um, I've done that before, it's a pain though. Um, it's not very easy to do because you can't lift this lid up anymore because the pipes are tight. Um, it's the sort of dirty coloured one on the left of the image that goes up into this unit and it's too short to um, to allow any more uh, space than this. In fact, when you are, uh, when you've, once you've lifted this up, you need to basically sit this down into position a bit more in order to give you maybe uh, an inch of space or three centimetres of space there. Okay, so... Um, that's how you get the barcode reader out. Um, the, the cable for the barcode reader is that little ribbon cable it comes down and connect, connects into the circuit board, which I've also um, taken out. I don't think I needed to take it out, but um, yeah, I did. Uh, I was thinking I was worried that I might catch, uh, not catch a wire, but sort of yank a wire and damage it. Okay, so um, this this unit on top, it's fairly easy to get the lid off actually. I struggle with it to start with, but and things to remember, there's, um, there's a uh, sort of a spring here that has to go into this hole uh, when you put it back together. And um, there we are. And that, that then is sort of just, uh, it's like a shock absorber for this white unit. Uh, all the heating, I guess, on the side. Okay, so what's the tricky thing about this top bit? There's always got to be something. Okay, on this, um, now if I just zoom in here. Zoom in. Hmm. Okay. 
okay. Well, I can't zoom in apparently. Never mind. Right, so you can see there's a little T-shaped piece with a spot on the top of it. Let me see if I can just put a knife there so you can see it. This little chap here. Now that clips into the lid. There, can you see there's two, um, two little slots? And the T part of the head slides over those two bars and drops down at the top. Now to get that out, to unhook it, I had to basically, you know, I used a pair of pliers. And in the pliers, I sat this. So exactly like this. And I just carefully slid it down the back. And actually it's, it just slides down and then it pops off. Um, it slides down and you can lift the lid slightly and it allows it to go past and you do one side then you do the other side, you don't need to do both simultaneously. Okay, so when you put it back down, uh, you just have to be careful of the, um, uh, these, these two little tabs, one there and one there, they sort of hook in here and um, yeah, there respectively. On the other side, exactly the same. Um, there's one. There's the other. Okay, so I'm just going to put that down now. There's nothing else holding it at all, but it is just a bit fiddly. And you see um, that's popped out again. So I'll put that back in place. There we are. Okay. Okay. So that's now down. That's down. It's all snapped together. This unit. It's a pain in the backside to um, to get apart, really. Ah, now can you see that little T is now in place? It's snapped in. So hopefully I don't need to get this back out because that was the hardest bit of everything, actually. I couldn't. I was everything else I've been able to do with a butter knife, but um. Uh, or a small screwdriver, but that's, um, yeah. So that, that's all back together. Okay, so what's the, the first bit you'll have to do when you're disassembling? That's get these sides off. This uh, flummoxed me for quite a while, and in the end I ended up looking at a YouTube video. Um, it didn't work um, as I expected though. So, this is a one of the sides. This is the uh, left-hand side, so you can see there are three of the, uh, no, sorry, two of these, and these slide into the front. Now, at the back, we've got these two, these little circles. There's three of those, and then there's two at the top. So, as you can see here, the circles slot in, and then the whole unit slides forward. That's what holds it in place. Okay, so, you can see this little tab, it's got a flat end, and a sloped back and there's a tab that's missing that one broke off annoyingly um, on the other side i managed to do it without damaging it but basically all you have to do if i show you where it fits you can see there's a little slot there to put a screwdriver there and there and that is where these little these little um tabs stick out but what i found was it was a an absolute pain because the screwdriver slotted in, or you could put a knife in, I guess, but you you can't push it out. Um, that doesn't work because of the fact that you're pushing against. You're pushing against then um, the flat, so it doesn't work like that. So what I had to do was basically pry the side, either side of that, and um, lift the side away enough. That, that flat edge here basically slid up, so it was pulled out, and then I could slide it over the top. And that's why I broke one. I was put, give, pulling it a little bit with some force, and um, it hadn't quite come out. Um, theoretically, you can bend these tabs in. They do flex, but um, I don't think that will help you to get it off anyway. Um, in order to uh, perhaps minimise damage to this side, you could warm it with a uh, with a um, hairdryer first, just on the outside, just a bit, and um, that might help. 
Um, but um, yeah, so that's all you have to do. So then the sides go on and they just snap forward. There we go, that's it. And I'll do the other side. So I've got to put the um, circuit board back in. The circuit board um, slides in, there's, um, in the centre of the image. It's in the way. Um, basically at the back. There's little slots that circuit board slides in the, in the direction my knife is and then clips this way. So it slots in and then clips. There's three of those. It's fairly simple to get out if you need to. Um, I, I did take it out, but I don't think I needed to. So, let's see if I'm so I've just clipped the circuit board in. Uh, I had to stop the video just because I couldn't do it with one hand. Um, but you can see these two little, red, oh, sorry, uh, is it three little red clips? Just hold the circuit board in place once you've slotted it in. I actually uh, lifted the lid just slightly again, just took these clips out to give me a bit of leeway because there's a, um, a, cat, a, a sort of a slot at the top there that the um, circuit board hooks behind as well. I don't know if I needed to, but I did. Anyway, there we go. So that goes back together. And then this side is exactly the same as the other. So we have, so this is the front of the unit to the front of this side. And you can see we've got the little round spots that stick out. And there's one of those um, slidey bits with a square end. You can see both of them there. Didn't manage to break one on this side. Anyway, so just slide this on now. in there we go uh, just to prove that it works um, I haven't broken it as such by repairing it what I'm going to do is switch it on now uh, okay so uh, the lights come on um, just because the water is not plugged in so let's connect the water unit there's the water okay so the water's happy Right, uh, let's grab a coffee before we do it. I might as well run the coffee. So let's pop it back together completely. I haven't tested this by the way, so um, I might be making a fool of myself if it doesn't work. But so you can see the yellow light, so hopefully it doesn't go red. Magic. So that's now working perfectly. There we are. Anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Um, there's obviously a lot more things that could go wrong with this unit than that which I've just replaced or repaired, but um, if I could repair that, I think you can repair pretty much anything on this unit. It's just not the easiest uh, thing to get into the pieces. Well, thanks for watching, and I hope you find it useful.